Okay guys, welcome back. Today we are doing a testing new makeup. I have a new palette from Adept I've been wanting to try out. This is Flying Fiddles. I ordered this, just got it in today. I have new foundation, concealer, lips. So I don't have like a full face of new makeup, but we have quite a few new products that I thought I would go ahead and test together. If you guys like these videos, let me know if this is something you would like to see maybe once a week, maybe every other week, because I feel like lately at least I have had a ton of new makeup to try. I honestly like doing a bunch of stuff in one video rather than just reviewing one product, so if I can do that, I try to. <laughs> Unless it's like a really big eyeshadow palette launch, then I'll do like a separate video, but I've been liking to do these and you guys seem to like them as well. So let's go ahead and get started. To start out, I did apply my primer today, the Hourglass Airbrush Primer. This is one of my favorite, just like smoothing, more mattifying primers that works really well with most foundations. I do have a new foundation to try. I got this mailer in actually from Makeup Revolution and this is their Skin Silk Luminous Serum Foundation. A little nervous about this one. This is probably not something I would normally pick up on my own but I decided we would try it today because I'm oily. So a lot of luminous stuff isn't always my favorite but sometimes I find those hidden gems and you never know maybe this will be a hidden gem. So it says radiant satin finish light medium coverage. Let's see what shade would we be. I'm gonna grab F3 here. This is what the packaging looks like. I'm assuming you can get this at Ulta Beauty. It says it's lightweight and glowy and feels like your skin but better. Has hyaluronic and peptide complex in the formula. And it's supposed to be a skincare powered foundation. So we're gonna try this today, see how it goes. This one has a pink undertone, which I do have a cool undertone typically. So let's go ahead and smooth this onto the skin. I haven't really tried many Makeup Revolution foundations, so I'm really curious how I'm going to like this one. It blends really easily, and it does feel really nice and lightweight. I definitely would say it is a light medium coverage. It's not covering everything, but it is giving us a nice kind of natural skin effect. Lately, I've been liking to apply my foundation with a brush, so I use the BK101, which I guess I have a discount code BK Beauty. I didn't even know. It's just Leah Janae for 10% off. You can always use my link as well, but yeah, I go in with a brush, and then I like to kind of take my beauty sponge that is a little damp and just lightly go over that just to really make sure everything is blended. It gets rid of any excess product and just really looks natural on the skin and blends everything out so nicely. Here's how this looks on the skin. I think it looks actually pretty good so far. It's not overly luminous, but we'll have to see throughout the day how dewy this really gets because I get pretty oily sometimes. So that's going to be the real test, but so far um, it looks pretty good on the skin. I would say maybe on my chin. My chin is looking a little bit cakey, so I'm going to try and blend that out. I'm not sure what the deal is there. So far, to me, it looks pretty decent. I think the shade matches really good, too. All right, I got you guys nice and zoomed in here because we're going to move on to eyes. I just got this in the mail. This is the Adept Flying Fiddles palette. Now, if you haven't heard of Adept, they are a indie brand, so independently owned. They're on the smaller side, but I love their shimmers. They have, I feel like, one of the best like shimmer formulas on the market. So when they sneak peeked this palette, I was like, that looks beautiful. I really wanna pick this up. I'm just always left really impressed with their shadows, but it has a beautiful kind of lacy background. It's stunning, it is textured. And then opening it up, you have a ton of gorgeous metallics. I think there's a couple multi-chromes, this fun like swirl shade, and then there is a few mattes, which is exciting. I feel like Adept doesn't do a ton of mattes in their palettes, but I like a mix of mattes and shimmers, and I feel like this one had some good base matte colors, so I'm excited to try. I feel like, to be honest, I haven't always been in love with Adept mattes, so let's see how these are today. The mattes did swatch a little bit on the kind of dry side, but sometimes things swatch differently than they apply on the eyes. So let's dive right in. Um, I think I'm gonna take this shade in Sahara. I'm just doing a little bit on this Singe Beauty EO2 brush and just lightly going in the crease with this. Oh wow, this is a really pigmented shade. I like barely picked up any product too. 
I'm just gonna try to kind of blend that on both ends here. Since I didn't want this to be like super dark here in the crease. I'm gonna really try to blend this out, but actually like it blends really nicely. It does put a lot of pigment down, but you can definitely blend it out pretty easily, I would say. Like it doesn't just stick there and not move like some shadows can do. Next I'm gonna take this color. It looks navy, but the name is Green Kelly. So this one I wanna try just building it in the outer corner. Let's see how this looks. Cause I do wanna play with some of the greens and blue tones in the palette. I'm just kind of pushing it on just so I'm not blending it too much so I don't lose much of the color. Cause I really want that blue to pop it's kind of like a blue green and then we can just kind of blend those edges out with a smaller brush just so it kind of blends into the brown on the lower lash line i'm going to do the brown sahara again and just blend that to kind of smoke it out all right so now we can play with the shimmers what shall we use hmm i think i want to do the pompon button which is kind of this green shimmer here beautiful i'm gonna place this kind of in the middle just leaving a little bit of that blue that we made in the outer corner so you can still see it such a gorgeous metallic there's lots of fine little glitters in this one then i'm gonna take this yellow Brownin, I think it's called. This one I believe is one of the multi-chromes because it kind of shifts. I'm just taking this on a singe E07 just to kind of place this in the inner part of the eye and just kind of blending that together. And I like to just go in with my finger too just to really pack on that product. Because I feel like when you use a brush, it gives you like this kind of fine dusting of color I'm just kind of dabbing a little bit more of the green just right into the kind of yellow gold that we just did very slightly i just want these colors to kind of melt together and then i just wanted to smoke out my lower lash line a bit more so just adding a little bit more of that brown down here and then bringing a little bit of yellow Bronwyn, it's not brown in. I don't know why I was saying. I'm just taking this more in like the inner corner too to kind of pop. All right, I think that looks beautiful. So impressed with those metallics. I feel like a lot of Adept palettes have more multi-chromes to them and these are more just like metallic sparkle. Sometimes I get sick of too many multi-chromes in a palette because a lot of times I feel like they can look a little too similar when you have a bunch of them in a palette. A lot of them just kind of sometimes give off maybe a hint of a difference with the shifts, but I like that this one has more of the metallic shades in it. So for concealer, we're going to use this Laura Mercier one. I have two shades. Let's see, one in zero and one C1. Let's do the neutral undertone. This is the Laura Mercier Flawless Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Concealer. It's in the same line as the Flawless Foundation that is like super viral, which that foundation, it's not even a new foundation, but for some reason it really picked up this year. Oh, I like this little Dofa applicator. Let's go ahead and just put this on each corner. I will say this looks a little darker than I wanted. Is this much different? Maybe I'll put a little bit of this in the middle. Um, this is a cool shade. The 1C one's a touch lighter, so I'd probably use this one the most, I would say. And then use the neutral undertone for when I have self-tan on. This does seem more like kind of almost a serum formula. It definitely reminds me of the formula of the foundation. So these definitely go together in the line. It's very lightweight. It definitely has like a... I shouldn't say radiance, but it's like hydrating where it's giving off a little bit of a glow. Not necessarily luminous, like sparkly or anything like that, but it's just, it looks more glowy than the typical. But it definitely seems like maybe a medium or so coverage. But definitely this is one I'll have to set down because this would definitely wear off on me throughout the day, I would think, and just kind of settle into lines. I am just setting with my Givenchy Rose Powder, which is like my go-to 
which definitely helps <laughs> mattify things a little bit more and smooth things out for sure. All right, so eyes are done. I just added a little half lash. I just, I love the half lashes lately and I always get mine from Amazon in like huge little packs. But now we're gonna move on to brows. I have a new brow product from Benefit, which I'm so excited about this. This is called Precisely My Brow Detailer. And the Precisely My Brow from Benefit is actually one of my favorite brow pencils. And this has like the most micro tip point I think I've seen. Like this is even smaller than Precisely My Brow, which already is like a pretty detailed point. So we're gonna really be able to get in there and really sculpt out these brows today. I'm excited. So it has that on one side and this has a nice little clear casing so it doesn't break off like some micro brow pencils tend to do and it has a spoolie on the other end so yeah this literally just came out from benefit i have shade two right now i usually do shade one so this might be a little bit darker but we'll see so with this i like to go around the edges like so i'll go along the bottom edge to create like a really nice defined line and then I mean, I don't usually do the top, I guess. I'm mostly just along the bottom. And then I like to go in and just add some up and down brush strokes. So far, this is really easy to use. It's definitely filling in nicely. It's not like so micro where it's not really adding much color at once. This actually adds quite a bit of product. So it's still creamy while being a micro brow pencil which is awesome so definitely seems like nothing else i have in my collection but yeah i'm surprised how creamy this is let's fill this one in because this one's pretty sparse right now but i feel like this brow is just gonna look weird because i had a weird like small breakout like pop up right in the corner edges i like how that looks i really like this this might actually replace my precisely my brow that was so easy to use I'm really impressed with that I am gonna go in with my benefit brow setter and just kind of fluff my brows up too I know that benefit has a brow wax but I don't love their brow wax I prefer this brow gel I just feel like it holds the brows better okay so I don't really have any new cheek products to use so I'm just gonna go in today with hourglass nude bronze light bronzer on the cheeks this is just a go-to, just a flattering, natural bronze. And usually when I'm doing green shadows, I like to do peach blush. So I'm using this Too Faced Cloud Crush in Tequila Sunset. Another formula that's one of my favorites. It's just, again, very natural, buildable color and very flattering on the skin. So then our last kind of new product we're testing today is lips. And I do have the new Charlotte Tilbury lip stuff. I know they had some weird, I wouldn't say it's drama, but they like had this whole like missing lipsticks crime thing that they made for TikTok. Basically all of these big like TikTokers got this huge Charlotte Tilbury lipstick package with the new launches, there's new lip liners and lipsticks. And it had all the lip liners included, but all the lipstick flaps were all empty. So then there was this whole thing like, who stole the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks and all this stuff. Like they made the, all these videos and I just couldn't tell if they had already planned to do this or if they did it just because it was funny because like they forgot to put the lipsticks in. Anyways, it was just very odd. <laughs> I still don't really get it, but I did buy like the new formulas. I love Charlotte Tilbury lip products. I think she makes great lip liners and some of her lipsticks are all time favorites in my collection, like the Kim KW shade JK Magic. I wear all the time, my favorite nudes. So I wanted to get some new lip products from her. So I picked out the lip liner in Icon Baby. I did try these once already. So this is kind of my second time. I'm trying I tried them for TikTok but it's first year on YouTube so let's go ahead and line the lips this is kind of just a neutral pinky nude and I feel like I don't know if it's supposed to be a new formula or anything or just new colors I think it's just new colors because it's still called the lip cheat I really really like this shade a lot um, sometimes pillow talk from her line can be a little bit too dark for me or too pink so I feel like this is a nice in-between 
So I also got the matching lipstick, and this is in her Kissing Lipstick line, which I really like the formula. So she has a bunch of new shades in like different pinks and reds, and I don't know if you guys can tell, but the packaging is slightly different than usual. It has like this almost pinky rose gold instead of a just typical rose gold. It's very beautiful. And then I got the matching Icon Baby lipstick shade. And little to my surprise, I did not know that this had glitter in it or like weird glitter texture in it. I'll show you guys how this looks on. It's gorgeous though on. Like I love the color so much. But you can feel like sparkles in this formula. Like it feels like gritty. Which, you know isn't the most nice thing to have on your lipstick but the sparkles that are in the formula do give it that extra shine you don't look at your lips and immediately notice glitter it just gives it I don't know this extra shine extra plumpness so I don't mind how it looks it's just weird that it was in the formula because I wasn't expecting it and when I put this on I was like what is going on with this lipstick why does it feel so weird on anyways yeah I guess it has little glitter micro glitter particles in it for some extra shine but like this color is so stunning. I really, really like it. So here is the full makeup look today, testing out some new products. As always, I'm gonna wear this for a few hours today. It's already kind of late in the day, so I don't plan on doing a super long wear test today, but I at least wanna do a good five hours so that we could see like how our foundation is holding up especially, cause that always needs a wear test, I feel like. So we're gonna let this sit as we do our normal activities for the day, and I'll see you guys a little later. Hey guys, we're back. It's been about seven and a half hours, so pretty good wear test, I would say. And honestly, the makeup looks really good, I have to say. Foundation-wise, this Revolution foundation actually is really impressing me. For a luminous serum foundation, as it's called, I don't really think it's that luminous. So if you do have oily skin, don't be scared of this one. I actually think this has held up so good today. And we have a little shine coming through, but it's not bad at all. Let me just do a little powder touch up here, just so we can kind of see without the shine. I'm not putting any other product on, just kind of leftover powder that's on this brush, but I honestly thought that this has held up well. It looks pretty good on the skin as well. It doesn't look cakey like it was earlier in the chin area. I'm actually so impressed. And it seems like it paired really well with the Hourglass Primer as well. But yeah, I really thought I would be a lot more greasy by the end of today. This really looks good on the skin and I could still wear this a few more hours, a full, full day. So definitely check this one out. This might be a new drugstore favorite, which is so impressive. I've never really tried Revolution Foundation. So, so far we have a winner here. Our eyeshadow still looks incredible as well. It's just as bright and pigmented as when we first applied it. Such a good quality palette from Adept. This is beautiful if you guys do like those gorgeous metallic shimmers. This green look was so fun today. I had a bunch of compliments from you guys in my Bath & Body Works video as well that I filmed wearing this palette. And I really, I really like this one. I'm happy with this purchase. This one is still available on their site, which is crazy because I feel like every single indie palette always sells out and then it's like a two month pre-order. This is still available as I'm filming. Um, if you guys wanna pick this up and I do have a code with Adept, it's just Leah Janae. I will say, love of love their shimmers. The mattes, they are kinda dry at first. They're not my favorite to work with. I do prefer a creamier matte formula, but there is little to no fallout with these mattes. They are ultra pigmented, so I always just recommend to like start slow and just build up to get your desired effect. But that's really my only issue with it. I think for the $50 range, this is a really excellent eyeshadow palette. I just, I really do love Adept's formula. I don't know what it is about our makeup today, but it is just wins all around. The Laura Mercier Concealer, I did not think that this was gonna hold up. I really didn't, but it still looks great underneath the eyes. Like, it it seems like it looks the same as when I first put it on. I really thought this was gonna crease up, fade away really quickly, but no, it is still, still going strong, looking good under there. It takes a lot to impress me with the concealer, and this one actually really did 
impressed me. So I really can't wait to try this a bit more. Yet another one with this Benefit brow pencil. Oh, the brows look so good. We were able to really go in and detail them out. I feel like they look nice. They look fluffy. They don't look overdone. And I'm excited about this new micro brow pencil. So this is like their thinnest one yet. If you guys do like a micro point, if you guys like the Give Beauty brow pencil or the Huda micro pencil, you will love this one as well. Really impressive that they can still <laughs> make new brow products even though they already have like so many on the market and they're still like the best in the game. So I definitely recommend checking out their new Precisely My Brow Detailer. And then of course our lips. This has actually stayed on me most of the day. Our lipstick only slightly just came off um, after I ate dinner basically. I had some pizza so definitely came off for the lipstick to be expected. Lip liner still is lasting pretty well so that's always good with a high and lip liner I like to see it lasting all day since it is a pricier item so I think you know this is just as good as her usual lip liners if you're a fan of the Charlotte Tilbury lip cheats but as far as the lipstick goes if you do not want texture in the lipstick I just think it's a weird thing to have but I'm still gonna use it I'm still gonna wear it because I love the color combo I honestly thought it would look weird with our green shadow today but it's kind of a nice neutral pink so I think it goes with really anything you mostly only feel the grittiness when you're applying it. Um, when you are wearing it, you don't really notice, but it's really a beautiful color. So if you're looking for a new color combo, this is really pretty. I know I just recommended also the Makeup by Mario color combo as well that I've been loving. Still love that one. This one's just like a little different, a little bit more pink, but what can I say? I enjoy it. Really had so many good products. I'm so impressed with these finds today. Let me know if you guys are trying any of these things. If you're picking anything up, if you have tried them already, let me know. And also let me know if you guys do want to see these weekly because I would love to be able to do them if I have enough product that is. It helps when I do have some PR like this week's video. Half of it is PR, half I purchase myself. I'll try to make that a little bit more clear in the description box as well. Maybe I'll put little stars next to any PR products. But if you guys do like to see these, I'm going to continue to do them. But I'm so excited about these products. I will have some updates for you. I'm trying to do better at speed reviews and like testing products more than one time of course. This is just our first impressions. A lot of times I can kind of tell how I like a product off the first go but sometimes my opinion does change after a couple wears. So I will update you guys on these probably late February, early March once I've tried them a bunch again. But anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Thank you.